Hey guys, I am back with an all new Mermail episode today. Uh, I know we've had quite a few of these happening recently, but like, you guys just gotta stop sending cool stuff, okay? So today, kind of like my mermaid tail unboxing, this video, this mermail unboxing video is uh, basically just one specific company. There is so much here that I figured I would break this up and do a specific video for this company, Secret Honey. Um, and then I'm gonna do more episodes, more mermail videos with some of your guys' packages and whatever else happens to pop up in my mailbox. So stay tuned for those. But I wanted to show you specifically this stuff in one video because it's all costumes. And I thought it would be really fun to just sort of have a crazy costume haul from this company. So I'd never heard of Secret Honey before, but they contacted me and they were like, hey, is there any costume that maybe you might want to check out? And I took a look at their website and full disclosure here, you guys, I'm going to put it out there. I'm a costume snob. Like, here's my confession. <laughs> <laughs> but no, but um, a lot of the costumes that you guys see me in, especially, you know, now in my music videos and stuff, most of those are costumes that I've designed myself and collaborated with my designer friends to make them. Usually they're built from the ground up. They're like fully corseted. They're made with silk and, you know, Swarovski crystals. And like, you know me, I'm... I'm just over the top and I kind of go a little crazy with my costumes and I, I tend to do just a couple every year as I can, you know, afford things and as projects come up and then even the costumes that I wear that I haven't helped design or that I haven't had a hand in making and I'm like borrowing them, like my recent Tarzan music video, I still am borrowing this like custom made costume from a costume designer and almost everything that I wear, I'm super lucky you guys, almost Every single costume that I wear is one of a kind. It's either made for me or um, it's something that was made custom and it's, you know, um, the only one that's like it. And uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm really, really lucky. It's a huge passion of mine, like you saw with the mermaid tail and stuff. I definitely don't need to do that kind of stuff for every video, but it's, it's really fun for me, you know, and it's a fun challenge to going and picking out the fabric and, you know, trying to figure out how I want to design a specific character and the way that I kind of see them, you know, or even if I get to wear a costume that I got to borrow from a designer friend, getting to see their interpretation of that character. And um, it's something different and unique and cool and, and it's special because it's, it's one of a kind. And so I have gotten into this, some might say, bad habit of <laughs> being a little bit of a fabric snob and a costume snob and um, being really, really obsessed with the design element of wearing costumes and cosplay. And so I haven't really paid a ton of attention lately to what is out there as far as costuming goes that is sort of, you know, um, made by companies and brands and stuff. You know, once in a blue moon, I'll get hired to go and, and wear something maybe like a Hot Topic or um, a place that does more mass produced stuff, which that's, you know, super fun too. But yeah, I typically am not checking out what's out there because I'm usually working on designing or making my own version of that character but when Secret Honey contacted me and I checked out their website I was like dang these are these are really pretty like these and these are a lot of them I believe we'll open them up and check them out I believe they are Disney licensed costumes so that's super cool to me that they're they actually have like the Disney stamp of approval and they work with Disney but they're a Japanese clothing and costume brand and they're beautiful when they contacted me I was like this sounds fun let's check it out and they wanted me to share with you guys some of their stuff and so I wrote them back and there was one particular costume that I saw on their website and I was like oh, this is beautiful this is perfect I need this for a music video. I'm totally gonna wear this. This is the one. Would you guys be down to send me this one and I can open it on camera and show you guys and all that good stuff. Well, um, they sent three giant boxes. <laughs> So, over the course of a few months, you guys, I've been really backed up on Mermail, so thanks for bearing with me. But yeah, they, they've said a lot. I thought it would be one costume, one box, one costume. Like, we're gonna have fun. So, gear up. 
I'm so sorry. My vlogs tend to be pretty long, especially my mermail and stuff, because like I go a little crazy, I talk a lot. I'll try to go as quick as I can, but still show you all the awesomeness that is in these. So let's get into it. Okay, so I'm honestly really curious how this stuff's gonna look in person. I'm really excited. I've heard amazing things, and we're gonna go at it. Here we go. Oh my gosh, it's, this is heavy. Like there's, there's some stuff in here. I, I think this is the first box that they sent, which this one probably has the costume that I requested. So we'll see. Oh, I feel like I know what's on top here. <gasps> So pretty. Okay, I'm gonna have to set the box down. First you guys can check it out. I don't know if you can see from there. <laughs> okay, so right on top, we have this beautiful rose dress. Sorry, loud crinkly paper. I believe this is the wedding dress inspired by the new live action Beauty and the Beast, like Belle's wedding dress. That's so cute. I hope it fits. <laughs> this is really pretty. And it's got like the flower details and the sheer sleeves. What size did they send me? Okay, this looks like it's a size two. That sounds about right. And by the way, it's got this stretchy back with sort of like the faux corset lacing, which I think is gonna be great for cinching in that fit. Cross our fingers. Oh, it's just so pretty. And then hold it up so you can kind of see the skirt going on there and then we will try it on later but there is the bell wedding dress okay next and keeping with our beauty and the beast live action theme emma watson's bell they sent me her peasant dress how cute Oh, <laughs> that's really cute. You guys, this fabric is beautiful. This is super nice. Like, I'm really impressed. This is really, really pretty. It's like the um, linen needs a little bit of a steam, but it came all the way from beautiful Japan. So I, I would expect nothing less for a costume that, that made its way all the way over here. Um, here you can see the bottom of the skirt. And the trim is so cute. I wonder if this is one piece or not. It's got, I think they all have, I've seen this before. I think they all have this sort of stretchy back with sort of like the faux corset. And oh, the embroidery is really pretty. I don't know if you guys can see that. There's the rose. Um, that's really sweet. But yeah, the fabric's great. I love that it's all different textures and stuff too. Like that's exactly what I'm looking for when I'm designing a costume or looking for something to wear is I want something that's really textured and that just doesn't feel like it's just some cotton that's been printed on, you know? Like this is this is really, really well done. Yeah, and I don't know if this is all different pieces or if it's all one piece. Sorry, as I like explore. Let's see. Okay, so yeah, it looks like it is all one piece piece dang everything's kind of sewn together which is nice makes it like super easy oh it's really pretty awesome okay next okay you guys this is the one that i asked for it's literally like if it weren't ariel it would be the opposite of what i would ever wear ever 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 <laughs> but i saw it on the website and i fell in love with it which is so funny because it's pink like, I never wear pink ever, but cosplay and Ariel is like the one exception. And this is a really pretty shade of pink too. It's not too in your face. Okay. This is like even prettier in person than I expected. Okay. Let's see if you guys can figure it out. Oh, she's so cute. Oh, whoops, something fell out. Oh, it's got a slip with it. Okay, cool. That's, I'll show you in a minute. Oh my gosh. Okay, wait, the ties are behind. Okay, oh my gosh, I cannot wait to wear this. Oh, it's so precious. 
this is seriously like crazy gorgeous. I'm dying. I'm sorry. If you guys haven't recognized this yet, I think if I hold it closer to me it'll focus. This is Ariel's nightgown from The Little Mermaid. You never see this done. I feel like I, I so rarely see people ever cosplay this. It's, it's obviously a little bit random, but I have a video that I'm really excited to share with you guys. I'm gonna be wearing this in that music video. And uh, so when I saw this on their website, I was like, I need that, it's so beautiful. Like I could not have picked out prettier fabric or designed something as pretty. Like I feel like every detail is just stunning. This fabric right here is amazing. And the buttons, I don't know if you guys can see, they're little like enamel seashell buttons little clamshells. There's lace detailing, the ribbon obviously, you've got like pin tuck pleating, and uh, it's just so pretty. And I'm really obsessed with the sleeves. I'll hold it in front of my face so it'll um, focus on the detail on the sleeves. You guys can see, oh, it's just so, so dreamy. And yeah, Disney. So this is official, guys. Oh, oh, and then not to leave out this amazing detail seashell and starfish embroidery on the bottom of the skirt and obviously this really pretty ruffle here at the bottom and then this is so cool i was concerned about this they included a slip so that it's not see-through which is obviously a plus <laughs> oh i'm so excited which is so funny it's like the opposite of anything i would normally pick out but i'm just in love with it like, you guys, this is all I asked them to send, and then they sent all of this stuff. I'm dying. <laughs> Thank you, Secret Honey. You guys are seriously amazing. Okay, next. Okay, this is definitely something aerial, because I see bubbles and seashells. Oh, and fish! What is this? I don't know if this is a costume or a dress. Let's check it out. It's really cute, whatever it is. Okay, wait. How cute! It's a little Ariel inspired dress. It's like a little mermaid dress. That's really cute. Like, it's got like a crocheted top, but then it's got this like seersucker dress underneath. Oh, the little pearls and like sparkle are so cute. Okay, and this one has applique. It's like coral and a sea flower, bubble sequins, seashells. That's so cute. Okay, and then the dress itself, oh wow, lots of detail on this. Okay, it's got, you guys can see, sorry, I'm like, how do I show you? Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Even the bottom is hemmed, like, with, like, the curly, I don't know if you guys can see it. It's got that sort of, like, um, curly hem on the bottom of the tulle. And then the dress itself has Ariel and Flounder, and it looks like other mermaids. Are these her sisters? Nope, just random People from Atlantica, merfolk from Atlantica, and bubbles, and it's got... Here, wait, I'll turn it around so you can see what I'm looking at. Okay, there's Atlantica, <laughs> and uh, all the sea stars and seashells at the bottom, and it's this pretty sea foam color, and blue, and pink. That's really cute. Thanks, guys. Oh, and you know what? How cool is this? It looks like they are two completely separate pieces. So, if I wanted to wear just the top, the crop top, on its own over something else, or like a beach cover-up, I could do that. That's really cool. I love that. Aww. <laughs> okay, I'm dying. They sent so much stuff. Uh, comment below if you guys want me to have like a princess party with my friends where we all dress up in these costumes because there are so many beautiful costumes. I can't possibly wear all of these. Uh, yeah, this is amazing. Okay, this is Moana. Oh, it's so cute. How cute is that? Oh my gosh. Obviously, you guys, I could never actually be uh, Moana, but I love her. And uh, not gonna lie, like, I'm super excited to wear this, but I also, like, really want to put my friend Karis in this. <laughs> Karis, you gotta do it. You gotta do it with me. Oh, it's so cute. I love that. And then it's got, oh, it's super cute. And it's got this like tiered, what is this trim? It's not a lace, but it's like a, it's kind of like a linen type trim. But it's really, really cute. Let's 
see what's going on on the top. We've got, oh, all the shells are so cute. Okay, so if you guys can see, there are like puka shells and these like abalone shells. That's really pretty. And then I love the little like tie, which I think, I guess it ties in the front. And then this trim is really, really pretty too. I don't know if you can see that right here. This little like mini, mini tassel trim is super pretty. That's really cute. That's such a cute like little summer dress slash costume, but also like it's just cute as fashion, I think. I think that's kind of what they're made for. I think they're kind of like costume, like a mix between like a casual dress and a costume. I think you can kind of, some of these you can kind of wear them either way. Someone heard me crinkling paper and wanted to come see what all the fuss was about. Thank you. Don't destroy my costumes. Here. Here, Cass. Okay. Next up, oh cute, this is interesting. This is obviously Princess Jasmine inspired because it literally has her on the, oh, it's a two piece, on the dress, okay. We have, I think it's like a, a two piece dress. So here's the top, that's cute. It's like kind of like a peasant, peasant top see that's what that looks like oh cute it's pants it's <laughs> it's literally like a jasmine outfit so then these are obviously I'm holding them up here but they're gonna go down here but there's cute little jasmine pants but there is I'm gonna hold it here so you can see hopefully there's actually like slave jasmine on the pant legs like can you guys see that you never see slave jasmine that's so funny I love it. That's actually like my favorite outfit of hers, not gonna lie. And then there's Jasmine and Jafar on the on the back of the leg. That's so cool. <laughs> I love that. But it's like a paisley all over print. That's so cute. I like it. I'm excited to just try that on and like see how it looks on. Excuse me. I need this. Thank you. Hey. Stop making noise. Okay, last one in this box. This is so much stuff, you guys. I'm dying. Like, this is... Shh. Casper's. It's Rapunzel. So cute. <laughs> That's really cute. Little puff sleeves. And then... Dang, there's a lot going on on the skirt. Okay, it's so cute. All right, there's writing on here. What does this say? Somehow I'm back where I was one year ago. I see outside my window at the life happening without me. I want to be a part of it. I want to contribute to the world, experience things. I wonder if I'll get a chance to find my spot among everybody in the wide open world. That's so cute. It's like Rapunzel's uh, diary or something. And there's lots of different ones. I don't know if they all say something different. I think there's some of them are repeated, but anyways, super cute dress. Here's the bottom. There's Rapunzel and Flynn slash Eugene and Maximus at the bottom doing all sorts of fun things. That's really cute. I wonder if it's the same on the front. Nope, different on the back, I think. That's really, really cute. <laughs> it just looks so tiny. But it's got a, it's got a sash, which I love. That's real cute. Real cute. Okay, sorry guys. I know I gotta hurry it up because I have two more boxes. Here we go. Oh, box number two. <gasps> I see a crown. Something, something sparkly in here. Um, you guys. What? Can you see it? <laughs> My slouch. What? This is amazing. I've always wanted a Rapunzel crown and haven't gotten one because, you know, 
money and stuff. Oh my gosh. I love this. This is so magical. I didn't know they did accessories too. This is really stunning. Really, really, really gorgeous. Okay, I'm gonna hold it here. So hopefully you guys can see. <laughs> and it's got, this is so awesome. It's got like combs to slide into your hair or wig plus holes here if you guys can, sorry, cat hair everywhere. Um, right here to pin through or to put more combs on there. Even the back, even the back is so pretty. Can you guys see the detail on there? Like you never get that kind of stuff with accessories. It's usually just, you know, cuts off here. That's so gorgeous. All right, this needs to go for now in my princess collection. Okay, let's see what, there is something magical in here. Okay, there's like bridal stuff in here, you guys. I think this is their collection of Disney-inspired bridal gowns, um, like bridal costumes, like the characters' gowns. Okay, wait. Hang on, there's, okay. Sorry, Rapunzel's crown is on top, but I think this first one is Ariel, actually. Yeah, Bubbles. Oh, it's so pretty. Like, I'm already married, but um, I would totally wear this for something. <laughs> dress up, I can cosplay Ariel's wedding dress. This is gorgeous. Okay, so there's obviously Ariel's veil. Okay, cute, cute, cool. All right. Beautiful. Okay, so we have Ariel's wedding gown top, which actually features the same embroidery style that's on the pink nightgown that I'm obsessed with. Oh, this is so pretty, and it's got like, you can see like on the bottom, there's touches of teal. It's got a, a zipper on the side, and then it also has that same, what they've been doing the sort of um, ruched back that's stretchy with the ribbon sort of corset tie. The sleeves are so adorable. That's really gorgeous. Okay. Cannot wait to try that on. Do I look ridiculous with this veil on? Cool. Okay. Here is the skirt. I don't know if you can even see that. Okay. Stand up. You can kind of see. That's really cool that it's got this like super high waistband. That's really cute too. It's got adjustable sides and a zipper and a hook and eye in the back. This is Disney. All of the tags on here are Disney. So cool. And the panel in the front is really beautiful. It's this like brocade fabric down the center with this really pretty like the bubble lace that they've got going on. Ooh, and the bottom trim is super pretty. Right in the front, you guys can see that trim right there. That is gorgeous. I, I love that. They look like scallop seashells a little bit. It's actually really full. And I could totally put a crinoline under here. I can feel it's got space for that too. So when I try it on, I might add like a little, like a soft crinoline underneath to kind of give it a little extra puff. These definitely wouldn't be probably as big as like if I were making the skirt, I, I might go a little crazier on the, um, the ball gown element. But like, this is absolutely gorgeous and it actually seems really wearable. Like it looks like it's gonna be pretty comfortable as far as costumes go. All the fabric's really soft. This is like a pretty substantial weight. It feels durable. Yeah, this is nice, guys. This is really, this is really pretty. Okay, and now we're definitely in the costume realm. I mean, this definitely would be, I mean, unless you wanna wear it for your actual wedding, cause that's possible too, I'm sure. But yeah, this is definitely costume, you know, not casual day wear. <laughs> so now, moving on to Rapunzel's wedding dress, which uh, I'm guessing the crown goes with that. Let's take a look. She, oh, my scissors again. She has a veil as well. 
Oh, there's something else in here too. Let's see. Okay. Veil first. Aww. <laughs> or wait, is this? I wonder if this could be. No, I think the other. Oh, wait, you guys, I switched them. Hang on, I totally switched them. This is. This is Ariel's Veil. I lied. I'm sorry. The other one was Rapunzel's. It looks like bubbles. It's probably flowers. We'll, we'll switch that. Okay. Okay, this makes sense. So Ariel definitely gets the like more intense like 80s veil. Um, that makes sense. It's cute though. <laughs> <laughs> She's got the pearls and the sparkle and that same trim that matches the dress. Probably wearing it wrong, but like, you get the idea. It's cute. I love it. Okay, I don't even know if you're supposed to wear it like there or like way back. Like, when I was a bride, I wore mine like way back here. <laughs> but, um, no, that's super cute. If you guys can see all the pearls and the sort of like tiered style of the veil. Okay, that's Ariel's veil. My bad, okay. The one I was wearing earlier is Rapunzel's veil, which now I see because there's suns right on the edge and I was real blind and didn't even notice, wait, okay. Did not notice that. There's a clear, defined Rapunzel right there. And then yeah, these are supposed to be flowers I mistook them for bubbles. It's all good. It's super pretty though. Okay, and then in the bag that had Ariel's veil, it also has, oh, and this makes sense. Yep, because Ariel had a dress with like long sleeves. So how cute. So it's got her like long sleeves that are detachable. Okay, please fit. Okay, yes, they're stretchy. Got nervous there for a minute. Kind of that Aurora-esque sleeve here. That's pretty. I like it. I need pretty nails to go with it. Anyways, I love this netting fabric too. This is uh, this is good stuff. Okay, Rapunzel's top for her wedding dress. Super cute with the sun emblem right there. And she also has cute little puff sleeves. This is really cute. I love the cut on the front too. Oh, and an actual like corset back, or not, you know, it's got like little buttonholes, but that's really cute. So there's the top. Really, really cute. I love the embroidery on it. Yeah, legit. I love that. Okay, and then the skirt. My camera stopped recording, so I'm having to re-show you guys the skirt, <laughs> which is why I'm grabbing it from over here. The skirt is actually a dress that goes underneath the top. So I love all the like lace detailing right here, if you can see that. And then it looks like it's got a zipper down the side. And then it's actually got plastic boning in here. So this adds a bit of structure, which is really nice. And the skirt itself, it's super pretty. I love the pink down the center with all of this printed. The pink is kind of like a brocade kind of feel. It's got embroidery right here. And then it's got like this sort of printed, really subtle pattern all across the skirt itself um, with more embroidery all along the bottom. And that's nice and full. This skirt also could very much handle a crinoline underneath. So I will probably style it with one of those when I try it on for you guys. So that is uh, some of the Disney bridal stuff that Secret Honey does, I guess. That was a total surprise. Was not expecting that. Like all of this is a total surprise, <laughs> except for the nightgown. It's super, super cute. This is gonna be really fun. Um, okay, we have one more box. All right, this is the biggest one. So, all right. Let's, uh, oh, that's heavy. Let's attack this, uh, this sucker right here. I'm excited. I have no idea what's in here. They are just spoiling me rotten. I'm set for life, you guys. This is amazing. What is going on here? Okay. Oh. Okay, there's a lot more stuff in here. I'm gonna try to go quick, but, like, Oh my gosh. 
Okay, this is Belle's, obviously inspired by Belle's yellow dress from the live action. Super cute. I love the little corset ties on the side. That's super, super cute. Like the grommets and the, the lacing. And then let's check out the skirts. Oh, there's, wait, there's multiple pieces. Hang on. Well, that's cute. Okay. Wow, that's really full. And there's all the, all the glittering. Okay, this is cool. This is like legit cosplay of Emma Watson's dress. So you've got the uh, skirt. Just can you see how full it is? We've got the glittery print along the bottom. And then it looks like there is a separate top piece that goes on top, I'm guessing. Yep. So you've got these pretty, like the extra tiers on the sides that sort of flow and move. Wait, there's even more. Hang on. What are you? Okay, this looks like... This looks like maybe just a slip for underneath, unless, is this like a, you can wear it short and you can wear it long kind of thing? I'll have to try this on you guys and figure it out exactly, because it almost looks like either this is just a slip just to make sure there's no see-through-y anything, or like maybe you can also opt to wear this together as like a shorter version? I'm not sure. We will, we will check it out and try it on. I'm excited. Okay. Is this Tiana? All my dreams are coming true today because like when would I ever get a Tiana dress? I, I love her so much, but like I'm, I can't be Tiana guys. I can't. It's just not gonna happen. But like I could try on her dress now. <gasps> this is so pretty. At least I'm assuming this is, yeah, this is definitely Tiana. Okay. Wow. I am gonna have to get all my princess friends together and we're just gonna have to dress up like that's it's just gonna happen. So thumbs up if you guys want that to happen. Okay, I'm gonna open this in a minute. I wanna see the dress first and then the accessories. This is also multiple pieces, so let's check it out in order. Okay, oh my gosh, even the top layer could just be its own cute little dress. Alright, how stinking cute. This is like a legit cosplay, you guys. This is like pretty spot on, I think. So you've got the top, obviously, and the back with that nice stretchy seersucker and tie. You've got this really pretty, like the lily pad shape that she's got on top of her skirt. I love that color green. Fun fact, uh, this sage green color was one of the colors in my real life wedding. That was our like accent color. Okay. All right, this is like huge. This actually has, this is the skirt, which is really gorgeous. This fabric is this like crinkled. Okay, there's like this, oh, that's so pretty. Can you guys see that? I really, really hope the camera's picking up how beautiful this is. This is that sort of, I don't know what it's called. It's that like, uh, I call it Sailor Moon fabric because my friend Vanny made her Sailor Moon dress out of this stuff and or similar. The one I wore in my Sailor Moon music video, if you guys ever watched that one for Carry On, it's that same kind of fabric. And then we've got this like crinkle cut uh, taffeta, I think is what this is, but I just, it's all textured basically. It's just really, really pretty textured fabric. And it's got, this is obviously the skirt, but it's got this sort of like hoop boning built in to make it bigger and I think this definitely would benefit from a crinoline underneath but this has a lot of give it feels like for puffing out but that's beautiful I love that so much okay maybe I could be like Lottie like dressing in Tiana's dress like maybe that could work and then I'll get one of my friends who cosplays Tiana to wear Lottie's dress like we could do a mashup I don't know <laughs> cute okay so we've got Tiana's signature green gloves and oh we've got her jewelry in here too oh it's so pretty and so we've got like I believe that's a necklace I don't know if you can, if you can see, super pretty. And then, and earrings, how cute. And these are clip-on. So whether you have pierced ears or not, they got you. Okay, that's awesome. 
Okay. <laughs> we have Belle's live action wedding dress number two. This appears to be a different version of the same dress. I think the other one was like a casual, like a dress, like a wearable modern dress inspired by. I think this is like the costume version of it. So let's check it out. This is definitely, yes, this is more, more spot on to the movie and more substantial bone. The other one was like thinner. This is, this is real cute. You got like these seven bell sleeves. Really cute. Okay. We'll try that one on as well. And the skirt is reminding me of the wedding gown skirts because it's so full. Okay. Yeah, that's really pretty. Look at that, guys. This, this is a dancing skirt right here. This is very full and fluffy and it feels like it's got crinolines inside it so you're probably kind of good to go. You could probably fit another crinoline under here, no problem, but I don't think you'd need to. And then the bottom's really pretty too because there's this fluffy tool kind of sticking out underneath, which is really sweet. I love it, okay. Yay. Oh, okay, I'm really excited right now. Um, hang on. Okay, so I've always kind of wanted this costume, but had no reason to like get it or make it. And now I have it. Okay, this is precious. I am in love already. This is Anna's sunflower dress. It's her vest. It's so cute. Um, from Frozen Fever. Also fun fact, I've always been obsessed with sunflowers. It goes along with my yellow obsession. My whole like bedroom growing up was sunflowers. Okay. Oh, I gotta get the pieces out. Cute. Okay, so you got her little corset. You guys can see that. And then, aww. We've got her sunflower on with the ribbons for her hair on a comb, which is great. Aww. And her little, um, her little pendant that goes right here, I believe. Oh my gosh. This is so cute, you guys. This is really, really cute. Okay, so the top has the undershirt attached to the skirt. It is a zipper back. And then, okay, this skirt is amazing. This is really well done. This is gorgeous embroidery. This is like a the, the material almost seems like a faux dupioni. It's it's not. It's a um. It's probably the polyester or something, but it's it's really pretty. It's got a good texture. All right, let's show you guys the. Can you guys see the embroidery? It's really pretty. This is super gorgeous. All right, so like that's happening. Okay. Really excited to try that on. FYI, Anna is my favorite. Frozen sister. I love Elsa too. I love them both, but like I'm definitely an Anna, so I get I get more excited about Anna. Okay, but we also have Elsa Frozen Fever Elsa, which is amazing because now I can dress my friends up too. This is beautiful. All right, Secret Honey, you guys are pretty amazing. So, and this is looks like one piece, and we've got. Here's the top with the sheer and like the sleeves, you know, how that goes. And then it has really, really pretty sequin detail all down the skirt. It's got that gorgeous ombre going on. Oh, it's got her little slit. Perfect. And then on the back, it's got her really pretty cape with like, it's netting, it's sparkly, it's got glitter and sequins. It's pretty awesome. And then a really pretty little trim at the bottom. That's super cute. All right, who wants to be my Elsa when I'm frozen fever Anna? <laughs> this is great. Okay, and I think that's it. Okay, yeah. Literally, you guys, I have a pile over here. I am stacked up 
to here with costumes. I'm dying. This is amazing. Okay, so I know that was a long video, you guys, but I think it was a fun one. Um, ultimate Secret Honey costume haul. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Huge, huge thank you to my friends over at Secret Honey. You guys spoiled me rotten. I am... I am completely spoiled now. You've ruined me. I love you. Thank you. I'm so excited about all of these beautiful costumes. And if you guys want to check them out, make sure to go into my description, click on the links to go visit their website, and uh, you will not be sorry. Their stuff is absolutely beautiful. Obviously, I highly recommend it. And um, I'm going to keep you guys posted and post more photos on Instagram and reactions and stuff across my social media of how much fun I'm having in these costumes. Hopefully, you will see them in more uh, videos and music videos to come. And like, I'm real excited to dress my friends up too. So leave a comment below if you guys want to see that. Let me know the victims you would like me to uh, transform into Disney princesses. And um, yeah, I just love you guys so much. Stay tuned for more videos, more coming at you soon, and I will see you on the next one. Bye! Just a little change Smile to say the least